that. And so there is a new movie that our organization is going to partner with that is uh, being nominated probably for an Academy Award from the Sundance film. It's called The House That I Live In. And um, in October, we are going to um, help to pre-screen that movie and open it up for the community. But that movie begins with a front end and it ends with a back end, which essentially looks at the steps of what happened in Germany that ended up with Jewish people and others. And the parallel, and this was done by a non-African or a black producer-director, although Danny Glover was one of the co-producers. But the story suggests that when you look at how societies can intentionally or unintentionally become psychologically desensitized to the point that you can have that kind of holocaust, the question is, when you look at the status of blacks in relationship to the criminal justice system in America, the question becomes, is that possible that that is what is happening? So, if you begin to think about the ways in which black skin and black boys in particular are becoming criminalized and dehumanized by virtue of their skin, given the search and seizure, given the ways in which we know there is disparity in sentencing, there are blocks in terms of free entry that totally prevent people from having normal lives regardless of whether they have served their debt. Those who have served and who were there totally because of false representation and torture, it's clear that the National Black Agenda has an obligation to explore, identify, and discuss and figure strategies to address this question of mass incarceration from our point of view in terms of what's happening to us. Because we start using third grade reading scores to predict how many new prisons you need to create viability, economic viability for other communities in which not only do they get the money in terms of jobs, but they also get political representation because people in prisons or in rural communities get counted for the vested interests of those rural communities and not the communities that they come back to in the context of the injury, then what can I say? Except we have a problem and we cannot expect other people to solve that problem and it is our obligation, it is our sacred obligation to have this kind of conversation in relationship to any national black agenda in year 2012, September. So that's the nature of what I wanted to contribute to the conversation. Well, let me support that.